He did not think it had anything to do with racism because it's common where they're from. Unfortunately, it's a common word, just like it is in rap and rap music, like like Dr. Bill said. Um, you know, uh, my my good friend who uh, was a uh, WWE superstar, and he's a very well established personal trainer, and he is also he was a competitive uh, award winning bodybuilder in the um, South Florida area. He told me that he hears, I mean, he's friends with uh, Hispanic, you know, Latin men that work out down there and, and some blacks. And he says the blacks and the, and the Latin community in South Florida are always angry and complaining and talking derogatory about whitey, whitey about Caucasian people. Yeah. Everybody looks for a scapegoat when their life is not going well. They got they got to blame somebody, but especially when people don't know the real truth that the damn two-party system and the elitists and the corporate CEOs that pay off the politicians, the people that are supposed to uh, that, that are supposed to uh, uh, watch your back and 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 defend you and fight for your rights, those are the very people that are selling you out. Now, if they knew the real underlying truth about why their life is crap and, and why the economy is, is crap and why there's no jobs out there, and there isn't, you know, Republicans always say, hey, you lazy bum, go get a job, go get a job. The, the jobs are not out there. Uh, you know, if they knew the real truth, maybe they won't target race as much if they knew who was really making their lives difficult. Well. But everybody bitches and moans about everybody. You know, lighten up, America. There's been a great cop, uh, propaganda campaign which has worked very well in getting the poor to fight the poor and pity the billionaires. Isn't that weird? Well, pity it's been the very successful. Pity the billionaire. Well, yeah. I got news for you. If the top 20% paid their fair share in taxes for real, even if they paid the 91% tax rate of uh, Truman and Eisenhower's days, they still would be filthy rich. No, 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 no. They still would be living high on the hog. And there's absolutely no reason to, to pity anybody who's wealthy. Anyone. It's insane. Well, you're not supposed to. If you're biblically oriented. Well, if the Bible tells you to give to the poor and help the poor all the time. So the Bible is, is, is very progressive liberal, you know. Well, if you want to put it in those terms, but yeah. it's just being right. There you go. God's being economics right. versus the devil's economics of the Republicans. Which is the way of get. You know, a, a many Republicans... Gimme, 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 gimme. Isn't it funny that every time a Republican uh, oh, makes a stupid racist statement or or an abortion or, statement or or, or, or a um, a or rape statement a, sec a sexist statement <laughs> or a homophobe statement uh, which is bigoted you know the the Republican Congress makes no comments about such statements at all yeah. which they, means they are they're, the racism is a part of their political philosophy. Of course, because the Republicans live in the old days. Okay? If their are, thoughts yeah. and their uh, policies, if they ever have any, are predicated upon the old days. Or what I call pedantry. Well, if their religious cult wants to interfere with politics in America, then they should pay taxes. Well, all religions should pay taxes. All churches should pay yeah. taxes. No. Is that Billy Early here no. or not here? No, Billy's not. I don't not. think so. We got no, Billy's not here. senile. It better not be a personal call because uh, I may have to get a little tough on the air. Oh, somebody should not be calling at this time. Yeah, see? You know who it is? Sales. It's a sales person. Or bill collectors. No bill collectors, sales persons. Oh, oh, you said you you. We have no bills that are owed in this place. In other words, the uh, the uh, do not resuscitate. No, the do not, do not call. 
That that's How's not, that work. That that doesn't work. Do not call dot gov doesn't work. I, and I was thinking of um, cease and desist letter. Letter no, uh, order. Yeah. From what I understand, really works. Could be Omaha steaks too. Yummy. Omaha steaks. Yummy but pricey. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why are uh, are you kidding? Why is since the um, um, the home state of that annoying teabagger Larry the Cable Guy, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. Since Nebraska is a huge producer of cattle, why are steaks always so expensive? I understand about seafood. You got to go out and find the fish. You got to buy diesel fuel for your commercial fishing boat. You got to hire a crew. You got to go out and find the fish. They don't come to you. But the cattle, it looks like pigs. I guess Iowa. Her Iowa is famous Iowa's for pork. For pigs. I mean, yeah, corn, a lot of corn. But the point is, they're, they're right in front of you, reproducing. Well, maybe they're a little cheaper in those particular states. But you know, when they ship them out, my friend who's going to that's uh, why things should be local. My Indian friend who is going to college, uh, where the uh, in, in Nebraska, the Corn Huskers, I think they call themselves, the football team. What is it, University of Nebraska? Well, the main college in Nebraska, he's going there, tells me that the steaks are not cheap when no, you go to a restaurant. There's something wrong, isn't there? Yeah, it's called capitalism. Yeah, well... Uh, Greed. Well, let us sink our piranha teeth into these readings. Our snaggle tooth tooth. Oh, no. We don't have hillbilly teeth or, or the stereotypical uh, English teeth. We have nice teeth. Don't make these people think we have snaggle teeth. Uh, we cannot control what people think. Screw them, you, you bastards. Know? If you're going to post something on YouTube, be accurate. Get your facts. The letters supporting Bridget Harrison's recent column are a cause for concern. Harrison and the letter writers blasted fellow Democrats who have announced their support for Governor Christie. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Would they take the same position if a Republican broke party ranks to endorse State Senator Barbara Bono? Yay, Barbara Bono, good luck. Or would they bail those individuals as, I mean, excuse me, hail those individuals as brave, independent thinkers? Salute to Barbara Bono, Democratic candidate for a, a New Jersey state governor, wh whom I will vote for. Perhaps the Democrats who are supporting Christie are doing so because they believe he's the best choice for our state. Oh, sure. He cuts... Stronger than a storm! He cuts all the social programs, he closes down food pantries, he wants to... Women's health clinics! He wants to close Planned Parenthood and women's health clinics. He, uh, 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 he's responsible for welfare recipients receiving an unheard of microscopic $140 per month. Well, because they're lazy. On top of the food step. What they're lazy? Late. Where are the jobs? Where are the jobs? Chris Christie, balloon boy, where are the <laughs> jobs? <laughs> well, uh, you know, ever since Mr. Clinton and Newt Gingrich back in 1996, when they changed welfare as we know it. Oh yeah, Newt Gingrich. These people are supposed to be working somewhere. Eh, tell me where they're working today. Newt Gingrich wants to put poor children collecting yeah, food, yeah, want to be janitors. food stamps and welfare as custodians in the school system. Yeah. Are these like minors that he wants to put to work? Yes. Fuck you. Child labor. Something hey. the unions fought for a long time ago. Hey, Newt Gingrich. I got an itch in the middle of my forehead. You and Rush Limbaugh, Limba, all you uh, right-wingers that have that big, fat, jowly face with the, with the double chin, you know, flopping in the breeze, all you, Pat Robertson, they all have the same looking face, all of them, if you notice. Uh, even uh, O'Reilly is getting that face, Bill O'Reilly. but but. <laughs> Screw you. You want to put poor kids to work for a lousy, stinking little drop in a bucket, food stamps and welfare that, that you Republicans want to continue to chop down to nothing? Mm. Fuck you.
putting the interests of a political party above that of the people. Tax the rich. That's you what I represent say. Is never a good thing. Yeah. Well, tax the rich. This is how we started the income tax. That's how it started in this country. Tax those who have the money. All of a sudden, under Reagan, the base gets broadened, and now we're taxing the middle class and the poor in the place of the rich. Yeah. I wish we had more options in November, but the entrenched two-party system provides only two. It's the duty of every voter to choose the best qualified individual, regardless of political party. Uh, Any more? Um, is that it? No, that's not. It's never it. <laughs> now that summer is finally here. Hot fun in the summertime. Who is that? Sly in the family? <laughs> Line of family stuff. Da, da, da. They must have been. Whoever wrote that song must have been financially well off, sitting in central air conditioning, because I can't see any hot fun in the summertime. Unless they're talking about, you know, getting laid. Hey, I'm not sure. Under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea. <laughs> they're getting laid under there. <laughs> Now that summer is finally here, many New Jerseyans are heading to the Jersey Shore. We're stronger than the storm. Oh, yeah. To enjoy the beaches and the rebuilt boardwalks. To enjoy the uh, very high cover charge to get on the beach and then you got to pay to park. And then you have to pay to change into your bathing suit. And then you can't bring a cooler of food and drink because they want you to go on the boardwalk and spend over five bucks for a hot dog mm -hmm. and uh, actually the only thing that was reasonable several years ago was a jumbo salty pretzel everything else was a ripoff but every year more than 100 beaches are closed due to pollution yeah so why 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 try to uh, why charge people uh, and price gouge them for a, well, a dirty get away with it. A dirty beach. Why not? You know, that's what yeah. they figure. Eighty percent of these beach closings are caused by dirty runoff pollution. Yeah, back and bacterial content of the of the water it's tested, which is usually rainwater polluted with fertilizer and pesticides from our lawns. Oh yeah, people. A lot of many people in New Jersey are obsessed with having a golf course perfect lawn and shrubs. Oil and bacteria from our streets. And in some cases even sewage washing into the ocean. But there is hope. With green building solutions such as green roofs, porous pavement and rain gardens on the side of the road, we can stop dirty runoff and dramatically reduce beach closings and harm to wildlife. It's up to Governor Christie to make these changes happen. As we move forward after Superstorm Sandy, we get the chance to clean up the shore for future generations in ways that are smart and good for our environment. <laughs> As we rebuild the shore, why not do it in a way that stops pollution and lessens the damage done by future flooding? I want to be able to enjoy the shore 30 or 40 years from now, don't you? Do they still plan on charging a cover charge 30 years from now? <laughs> yes. The I can guarantee you it will be more. The beaches in the United States be belong to the commons. They are part of America and they should not be privately owned with cover charges. Ooh, cover you, charges. You speak like a pinko liberal communist. I, I, I speak that the, the beauty and uh, the uh, natural resources of the earth do not belong 
to man, they belong to all. You and know? ultimately, they belong to God. Yes, and, and the CEO... The Earth is mine! And, and the drinking water supply of the planet Earth do not belong to the CEO of Nestle Corporation. He thinks it does, doesn't or, he? Or Nestle. How do you pronounce it? Nestle! Nestle. And don't forget, <laughs> they buy their cocoa from firms that deal in child labor and slave, child slavery. You hear that? Thank you very you much. You hear that? It's going on in, uh, I think, South America there are child labor camps, aren't they? Africa this is, but uh, no, well, who uh, knows? They're all yeah, over right the place. here in Argentina. Wherever a corporation can make money from it, it's there. Believe me. I heard for a fact that they, they exist in South America uh, uh, and they are working for, guess, American corporations. What do right. you think, what do you think, uh, who do you think is uh, running those uh, uh, inbound call centers, those those customer service uh, departments and office jobs that were outsourced to the Philippines? I was told by Philippine people, American uh, executives, corporate American executives are there monitoring everything and these people are getting a lousy one dollar an hour for an office job. Meanwhile, Americans and once their once their uh, uh, salary goes up to a dollar fifty, these corporations will move on to another place where it's cheaper. Maybe Bangladesh, whatever. Yeah, they that's were, what they do. These uh, uh, customer service jobs in the United States paid anywhere from eh, like eleven to fourteen dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. So now they they got the poor souls in the Philippines making a dollar an hour. Yeah, and jobs that were paying thirty dollars an hour in, in 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 the automobile industry now are paying fourteen and fifteen. They've got their way, baby. Hey, a race to the bottom. My my answer is: What is the incentive for a person to roll out of bed in the morning and work forty hours for less money to take a cut well, in pay? What in the first place is the incentive for a person to work for another person? and make him rich and not yourself. God does not allow that incentive. That okay. is what that is what the son of Ray of Aylward's health food store told me in the back in the nineteen eighties. Nineteen eighties. He says as long as you're work in, in America, as long as you work for someone else, you will never be ahead of the game. You will never get ahead of the game. Correct. You will help him become rich and successful exactly. by your blood, sweat, and tears, but you will never be ahead of the game. Because one of the flaws in capitalism is this. If an employer hires you and you want to be paid twenty dollars an hour, yeah. let's say, you must provide for that employer more than twenty dollars an hour in productivity and whatever or he's not gonna hire you because he need, he has to have money not only to pay you but he he, he needs to turn a profit that's correct from having you there you mean. that's correct so in capitalism <laughs> hires you know workers will never be paid what they're worth ever and that's one of the big Laws of capital. You mean naturally this happens? Absolutely, it's part of the game. What if, uh, what if it's run? What if co these companies are run by, let's say, uh, kind-hearted progressives? It's all relative. Supposing mm -hmm. there's a kind-hearted progressive, and he pays you a hundred dollars an hour, you still have to pay produce a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars for the boss. So it's just for a, them to hire you. It's just you. a basic principle. It's all relative. It's all relative. Yeah. I Basic hear. principle of uh, capitalism. Yeah. And another one is What's that it? capitalism works when you have capital. Does any poor person have any capital? To start a business? No. Thank you. Well, back and capitalism the, doesn't work on their behalf, does it? No. But but, uh, but back in the day, w w weren't weren't poor schmucks allowed to have a push cart? Yeah, but on Main Street. But the big boys, like over there in New York, with Mr. Blumberg, you know, if you had a push cart 
and it can it can compete it with the store that was right there. You're out. It. You're out, buddy. And and whether or not you 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 can afford to buy the permit to have well, the push cart. keep you out. The you, the, in other words, they jack up the permit so high that the little guy can't have his push cart business because the little guy has no camera. Right there and, it is again. And if you happen to be too close to the the big fat cat store, even if you have the the permit, they still harass you. Yeah, exactly, they still want you out of there. Right. Like you know uh, the um, you don't you don't hear about the. The Occupy uh, protesting. No, anymore. you do not. I just noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know why, don't you? Because of the spying, and the uh, all of them are now on record in police departments and etc. The sycophants. These people that that caved in uh, uh, and and did not defend their rights as American citizens by being able to protest the fat cats are are in a way being sycophants and spineless. No, they've been spied on. By the police. Hey, it doesn't stop uh, European countries for having hundreds of thousands of people out there getting tough. Doesn't stop them. Yeah, well, the European countries are having it a little more problematic than we are here yet. Yet the day is coming. Yeah. Well, the Turks. Well, we're the, not there yet. The Turks were getting. Uh, uh, mistreated by the uh, Turkish police, the Tur well, you Turkish see, that's one of the problems. Uh, uh, protesters, right? Now, I was speaking to a young man the other day, well, younger than me anyway, uh, who is supposed to be doing uh, some research on an article that may be upcoming for the newsletter. Okay. Regarding police. And uh, I did a little meditation. Michael J. Talma? And came up with the uh, came up with the uh, idea that uh, what we need right now in America is a law which states that the people can override the cops when it when the cops are doing bad stuff. You mean like uh, things that are are are. Um that violate their rights? Correct. Correct. That's what we need. A return to the people. I mean, I mean, American politicians are, are quick to, to judge um, mainland, Ch mainland China's government for rights violations, human, human rights, rights violations. Violation, but what about yeah. the rights of the protesters that were violated? Uh, Not so good. That's another matter. When you finish that one reading, I want to tell you something that I heard, and it has to do with... Well, then you better just be quiet for a while because you mean we be, may have a little discussion after this mean one reading. You mean be very, very quiet? Very quiet. Because we're hunting, we're hunting wabbits. Wabbit. Waska we whittle away wabbits? Passaic County Sheriff's Officers okay. raided a massage parlor. Uh, why don't they, you know, these on Thursday. The, they're so preoccupied with moral issues. Meanwhile, all the kingpins are getting away with murder, and the fat cats are getting away I with murder. I had a discussion with a woman the other day. Give me a break. She seems to have a obsession with, and uh, uh, morality only has something to do with sex. Maybe she, she has nothing to do with morality. Maybe Street. she's frustrated. Maybe she don't get laid. But how can you not say that morality translates also over to Wall Street? They don't know. They don't look at the financial morality. Stealing. In other words, they're, they're picking and choosing their sins. Exactly. Oh, sexual sins are bad. Mm. Oh, oh uh, 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 financial sins are, is capitalism. It's, well, it's there business. Are there, yeah, there are people in this country business is business. who believe that if you can put something over on someone and you make financially, money financially and you make moolah you're smart you're a smart That's nothing to do with I I immorality you're a smart businessman there you go i've had somebody tell me well you know business is business i said what does that mean business is business Morally owned. it's only business. does that make it right does that make it moral no no 
you know. But if it's sexual, oh, Ooh. it's it's bad. Oh, you're a John. You're a prostitute. Oh, you do porno movies. Oh, Ooh. you're no good. You know, or, or gay people bashing them. You know, anything to do with sex with this stupid puritanical American way of, of looking at it. They arrested its 27-year-old operator on prostitution charge there you go. after an undercover detective was offered a variety of sex acts. Uh, the, the victim was crime and the oldest profession, prostitution. Sheriff Richard H. Burnick, Burnick said Burnick. Burnick said the detective had called a telephone number listed in an online ad for the New Star Spa at 831 Main Avenue. When the detective arrived at the business, he was greeted at the door by Ying Ai Hong. Ying Ai Hong? Hong. You mean, didn't she say you... How you? How are you hung? How are you hung? <laughs> are you hung? I I know hung. My name is hung, but I'm no I'm no really hung. You hung, and 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 if the guy comes there with money, they go. Uh, they probably say to him, "Oh, you very handsome. Oh, you very why big. you 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 very big. you left money at home. Oh, you're not so handsome anymore." <laughs> Who lives in Flushing, New York? Flushing. Yeah. Birdnick said the sheriff said that the detective was led to a private room. I forgot to ring them when I said something funny. The detective was led to a private room. That's correct. I should hope so. Where he paid paid for and received a massage. Massage. After the massage was over. Yes. Birdnick said. Birdnick? Hong offered the detective a variety of sexual services. Variety. You want a blowjob? Man want a blowjob? You want blowjob? You want handjob? Happy, otherwise known as happy ending or old fashioned? When they came to an agreement, <laughs> a prearranged signal was sent to a backup team of officers who entered the business and arrested Hong. Oh, they need a backup team of officers. County cops? Oh uh, wow! How dangerous! County sheriff's department. How dangerous that is! In, instead of busting like big time, hey hey hey, they have guns. Drug trafficking, yeah. kingpins, and oh no, they can't do that. Oh, no that, that's way, a little dangerous that? for them. But they gotta harass a bordello, a massage parlor, and a bunch of innocent little little uh, Korean girls or whatever, or Chinese girls. Burnick said Hong was unable to provide proper identification uh, because of a possibility that she was in the country illegally. And that's how they pay these girls uh, 